Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from The Automator, and today's program, we, this program, you know, if you're like us, you're constantly sharing your screen, like on Zoom or any sort of tool, and sometimes you realize, like here, if we look at Isaias' screen, the text is kind of small, kind of hard to see, and you're probably going, oh crap, I meant to make this bigger, let me go to my settings, whatever, well, what if you just had a hotkey that you could hit, and it would change that DPI for you? Right. So Isaias, yeah. let's demonstrate real quickly how it yeah, no, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, why would I want to set my whole DPI? Because if you only change the editor, because most editors allow you to make the text bigger and so on, then only the text in the editor gets bigger, but other things don't. And if you're going to switch to another page or whatever, then the text of the page is going to be small. So, but with this tool, what we do is just, I just press a hotkey and the whole screen gets bigger. You can see my icons got bigger. The text on the menus got bigger, which doesn't happen if I just do this with the text. You see, so my text for the for the editor, if I just modify that, my menu doesn't get bigger. But now I can hit another hotkey, and it gets even bigger. And you can still see everything a little bit clearer including my icons. And if I go to another, uh, if I open my Explorer window, it's going to be bigger and so on. So this is the reason why we would use it. Um, the tool is very easy to set up. So the only thing that we have to do is open up. So this is the icon for it, active monitor scaling. And if you have multiple monitors, like I do, I have two monitors and some people have three, four. Um, this tool only works on the current monitor. So if your mouse is on the first monitor, it would set the scaling for that monitor to whatever you ask. And if you move your mouse to the second monitor and then press the hotkey, it would scale that one up separately. So it works on the current monitor. Now to set the hotkeys, we usually go with simple hotkeys like Windows Notepad 0, Windows Notepad 1, and so on. But you can set whatever hotkey you want. But let's just go ahead and delete these uh, guys right here. So um, to set the hotkeys, you select here what the key that you want to press is. And in this case, if, if, if I want control F, for example, you could set any hotkey that you want. But if it is numpad one and I want it with the window key, you would have to press the window key here. And this is the DPI that you want to set. It, this will list the currently allowed DPI settings for your monitor. So if you have a monitor that has more settings, they should show up in here. For me, the numpad one is 125. I'm going to set it like that. And you just add the configuration. That's it. After you have that, now your hotkeys should work. Now for 150, I'm going to make the number two. And number zero, I'm going to make it to reset to 100. So zero is just a reset. And there we go. That's It's just that simple. I just set it up. And now whenever we use the hotkeys for changing the DPI settings. So let me just make sure that everything is correct here. Let me see. Yeah. So if I press Windows 0, as you can see now, uh, my monitor just changed to whatever I have set for that DPI scaling. So it's really useful, especially for people who stream their screen and stuff like that. So demonstrate real well, I'd say real quickly, but um, demonstrate how you'd manually do this. Oh, yeah. So basically what would happen if you want to do this is that you would have to go to the desktop. If you have many windows open, you have to go to the desktop right click, go to display settings, then go to the monitor that you want to scale and then try to find where the scaling DPI settings is at. Then you have to click on that and then you have to close Somewhere it. Apply, yeah. Right, and you have to close that. So, so it is kind of like a lot of steps just to get this done. When with the hotkey, I just press a hotkey and everything is done for me in one step. So perfect for that. Um, um, I'll yeah. put the URL up on the screen here where you can grab it. Um, yeah, there's a fee for it, but it's, it's not a lot. And uh, it'll it should work fine on you know everything from Windows XP up through Windows 11. Like that shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Bye.